have arrived dude. 1036, 1037. Look at this. Nice and quiet. What's up guys? Man, it's been a crazy week. So, you know what I love? You know what I absolutely love? Seeing clients that I've been tattooing for over 10 years. It's insane. My buddy came in this week, her name is Sarah. Very awesome human being, also rocked roller derby for a long time. She came to see me this week. What this video today is gonna be about is just what happened this week. Lots of stuff happened this week, man. So as I said earlier, Sarah has been getting tattooed by me for over 10 years. She started getting tattooed by me at the very beginning of my tattoo career. She's literally a walking canvas of what was Mike Woods and what is currently my work. Like, from mm, questionable stuff to relatively cutting edge stuff that I've done. What we were working on this week though was on an existing tattoo that we started probably about seven years ago. She reached out to me, basically was like, look dude, we need to get this thing touched up. It's pretty gnarly. So I was like, oh shit, okay, call me. So she sent me a couple of pictures of her arm and I was completely blown away, completely blown away. We did this clockwork orange tattoo with glowing elements around it, lots of purple, lots of really nice like bright oranges and yellows and really cool colors, right? And Sarah is a very pale complected person. She also takes very good care of her tattoos, so whenever she showed me this image of how faded it was, I was completely blown away. And this was around the time in my career whenever I actually knew how to saturate stuff. In the very beginning, I was struggling, just like all artists do, but towards year five and seven, you learn how to work efficiently. It takes really about five years to master like the technique of tattooing, like how to apply a tattoo to the skin. And at that time, I knew how to saturate color. I knew how to get like all of the pigment in there, get it solid to where it wasn't gonna go anywhere. The amount of fallout that this poor girl had in her arm was astounding, like completely unacceptable. I was completely blown away. So whenever she came in, one of the things that I noticed was it was the warm tones. And in the industry right now, there's a lot of situations going on with disappearing ink. Yes, I said that. Certain colors, main reds, oranges, and yellows have a tendency of fading completely. Now, seven years ago, whenever we first started this tattoo, I did not know that, seven or eight years ago. I didn't know that. As far as I knew, I was just doing tattoos with tattoo pigment from tattoo companies, so I was like, yay. But one of the things that I've learned over the years is by seeing repeat customers, you see what works and what doesn't work. And unfortunately, Sarah was one of those people that didn't work. It just didn't work out. So she had about 50% fallout throughout her entire tattoo. The light tones were almost completely gone. I want to say about 80%. So what we did this week, I said, nah, to hell with that. We're gonna make this look good again. So that's what we did. We went in, we got about halfway done with it. We're gonna finish it. But just to give you guys an example of what it looked like, this is like what it looked like before. Mm. This is what it looked like after. Hmm, a little bit better. I'll be a lot happier once it's finished. During the video, you're gonna see a couple of the other projects that I worked on this week. It's just to give you an insight as to what my daily grind is, some of the projects that I've been working on, but the nature of my schedule being what it is. I can't constantly post pictures of stuff because 90% of the stuff that I do is in progress right now, which is kind of a bummer. Some days, I really miss the single session tattoos. I really do. Just sit for like five or six hours, do a badass, full color, just banger about this big, just big enough to bite, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really hyper, just ignore that part. So yeah, I, I just put together a compilation of, you know, a couple of shots and some edits and stuff of different projects that I worked on this week. And I figured, hell, why not go ahead and put together a weekly video showing all of the different things that are in progress. You know, just a couple of little quick little snippets. You don't get the whole pie, you get like a little piece, a little taste, if you will. Check it out.
things that I've been asked over the years is what can I do to improve the longevity of my tattoo, right? How long does color stay bright? Most colors will stay indefinitely bright as long as the customer takes care of them after. Don't neglect your tattoos. Now you may be asking me, Mike, what does that mean? Basically, in a nutshell, that means stay out of the sun. Stay out of the sun. UV rays, tanning beds, all of that stuff is like your worst enemy whenever it comes to tattoos. Ultraviolet light breaks down color pigment particles causes them to fade, causes blacks to turn grays and greens, causes oranges, reds, and yellows to fade completely. If you limit your amount of time in the sun, tattoos are gonna look better for longer. Now, I understand me being an outdoors person, I love being outside, I'm not just gonna give all that up because I have tattoos, so what can you do? Sunblock. Lots and lots and lots of sunblock. Cover your tattoos. If you have sleeves, Under Armour compression sleeves are perfect for that. Like, get the white one, it reflects all the lights off like Done and done. In a nutshell, take care of your tattoos. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this week. I'll have another video up in a few days discussing something a little bit deeper with the tattoo industry and what's going on in my near future. Big news is finally gonna be revealed that we've been withholding for about a year. Do me a favor, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. Just hit that red button right below there. Thank you very much for your support, and as always, much love. Keep your